Miss Rabbit's taxi. Pepper and George are shopping with Mummy Pig. <laughs> That's a lot of shopping. It's for Grandpa Pig. My granny is going away on holiday. Oh, I see. That's a lot of shopping. It's everything on Granny Pig's list. Where's the car? I didn't bring the car. I didn't think you'd be buying so much. Oh, I'll call for a taxi. Hello, taxi service. A taxi will be with you shortly. Sorry, I'm just popping out. Back in a mo. Taxi service. Where are you going? Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, please. Righty-ho, hop in. <laughs> I see you've been shopping. Lots of shopping about these days. Shopping for this, shopping for that. Shopping, shopping, Miss shopping. Rabbit, why are you talking so much? It's what taxi drivers do, Peppa. Ah. Mind you, I had Mr Potato in the back of the car the other day. I thought he'd be... Granny well. Pig is going away for a few days. Grandpa Pig will be on his own. This is a tin of food. To get the food out, you will need this. It's a tin opener. I know what it is, Granny Pig. If you want to boil an egg, fill a pan full of water, Yes, then... yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. We've got the shopping. But why are you not at the airport, Granny? Oh, yes. I'd better call a taxi. Taxi service. Hello, Granny Pig. I'd like to go to the airport, please. Of course. Hop in. Thank you. Daddy, can we wave Granny goodbye at the airport? OK. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye. Going to the airport, are you? Yes. And actually, we're in a bit of a hurry. Hurry in here, hurry in there. Why are people always in a hurry? Granny Pig has a plane to catch. She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, are you talking like a taxi driver again? Yes. The taxi has arrived at the airport. Goodbye, my little ones. Bye-bye, Granny. Bye-bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. <laughs> Here is Mr Wolf. Taxi! Hop in. Bye-bye, Mr Wolf. Pepper and George love waving goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Daddy? How are we getting home? In the taxi. Oh, it's gone. Been on holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Talk? Yes, people talk too much these days, don't they? Talk, 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 talk. And they say some people can talk for hours without taking a breath. My sister can talk. She can... Hello, taxi service. Hello, could you pick us up from the airport, please? The airport? Righty-ho! Stop! Hello, Mr Bull. Are you mending the road? No, I'm supposed to be mending the airport. But my truck's broken down. I'm going to the airport. Hop in. Have you got any luggage? Just the sand. Miss Rabbit's taxi is full of sand. Bye, boss. Hello, oh, lads! Here's the sand! Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> no problem. Take us home, please, Miss Rabbit. Righty-ho! There you are, my last taxi ride of the day. <laughs> now you can go home and have a rest. Ha! I should be so lucky. Sorry to have kept you waiting. It's just another busy day for Miss Rabbit. Tiny Land. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper, George, and Susie Sheep to visit Tiny Land. Daddy, what is Tiny Land? It's a world just like the real world, Pepper, but very tiny. It will be fun and educational. Is it real? With real tiny people living in it? No, it's just pretend. If everything there is tiny and small, then we will be giants. And we will go, hello, little people. <coughs> and they will go, ah, giants. <laughs> I can't wait 
to get there. Stop! What's the problem, Mr Bull? There's no problem, Mummy Pig. We're just digging up the road. Will it take long? It will take as long as it takes. But we're going to Tinyland today. Oh, I love Tinyland. Everything's so tiny. <gasps> and educational. That's important. Through you go. Thank you, Mr Bull. Thank you. Stop! But you let them through. They are going to Tinyland. That's important. Welcome to Tinyland, where everything is really tiny. And educational. Feast your eyes on the world of famous places. Wow! These are exact copies of real famous buildings, but a bit smaller. Ooh! Here's Big Ben, and next to it, the Eiffel Tower, just like it is in the real world. And the pyramids, Sydney Opera House, Statue of Liberty and the Kremlin. But these famous buildings aren't all on the same street in real life. Aren't they? Well, you learn something new every day. Oh, look at that! This is the land of water. Oh, there are tiny little boats. And there's even a tiny Miss Rabbit. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is just one of my many jobs. This looks just like Pirate Island. And there are some pirates. Ha <laughs> 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 Land of dinosaurs. Wow! This is how the world looked a long time ago, before houses and cars and stuff. Ah. Here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ah. Ooh! And over there is a Triceratops. Ah. <laughs> One is a herbivore and the other is a carnivore. Ah. Oh look! They are playing together, just as they would have done. Amazing! This is exactly as it would have been all those millions of years ago. Except for the train. All aboard! There you are again, Miss Rabbit, driving the train. Full steam ahead! <laughs> Where's it going now? To tiny modern land. <laughs> clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train went on the track. Puff and puff, puff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. <laughs> <laughs> this is like where we live, Peppa. Yes, there are houses and cars and hills and trees. And trains and planes and boats. <laughs> it's a busy world. 24-hour non-stop. <laughs> oh, it's broken. No, it's not. Look there. Stop! It's a tiny little Mr. Bull digging up the road. That's what happened to us on our way here. Tiny Land is just like the real world, down to every tiny detail. We're digging up the road! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa is going to Paris today to see her friend Delphine Donkey. Is everyone ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then, Paris, here we come. Mummy, where is Paris? Paris is in France. We go on a ferry to get there. What is a ferry? Ha <laughs> ha, you'll see. This is the ferry. Wow. <laughs> there are lots and lots of cars in here. Let's go up on deck and breathe in some fresh sea air. Look, Mummy! The boat is rocking about! Yes, Pepper. Mummy Pig doesn't like it when the boat rocks about. All this sea air is making me hungry. Who wants to eat? No, thank you. The waves are getting bigger. Here, I brought you a fried egg sandwich. Oh! The ferry has 
arrived in France. Remember, Daddy Pig? They might drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. You see, it's just like driving at home. Ah, de la roue. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived in Paris. Delphine Donkey and her family are here to meet them. Bonjour. Bonjour, Delphine. Bonjour <laughs> means hello in French. <laughs> what would you like to see in Paris? I want to see everything. Oh, it is impossible to see everything. In that case, I would like to see the real hidden Paris. The Paris that the tourists don't see. Bravo, Mr. Pig. Tell me, which part of the real hidden Paris would you like to see first? The Eiffel Tower. Ah, OK. This is the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this is busy. Imagine what the tourist places must be like. Look, Mummy, it's Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi, I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs! Get your little Eiffel Towers here! The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Do not worry, Mr. Pig. We take the elevator. Going up. I'm glad that's over. Oh, no! That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you feel dizzy, Daddy Pig, just close your eyes. OK. This is as high as we can go as visitors. Let's look at the view. Ooh. These steps are going on forever. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig is not looking where he is going. He is climbing up and up and up. What a wonderful view of Paris. It's lovely. Yes. What do you think, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig? Where is everybody? Ooh. Daddy Pig is at the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Hang on, Daddy Pig. Ah. I must call for the rescue services. You're here, Miss Rabbit. I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am going to get you down. Ah, I'm going even higher. What can you see, Daddy? I can see everything. <laughs> My Daddy came to Paris and he saw everything. <laughs> <laughs> Toy plane. Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Look, I've got something to show you both. Ooh. This is the dolly I had when I was little. She looks very pretty. Can I hold her? Yes, but remember Dolly is very old and delicate, so do be gentle with her. I will, Granny. Anyway, enough of that. How would you both like to see something good? Yes, please. We need to go to my shed. <laughs> Grandpa is always making little things in his shed. I suppose it keeps him happy. Look at this. Ooh. I call it Mark One. It's my first homemade toy aeroplane. Airplane! <laughs> George loves aeroplanes. Can it fly, Grandpa? Of course. Watch this. Uh, landing is the tricky bit. It is the best little plane ever, Grandpa. But it could be better if it were bigger. So I made this one, Mark II. Wow! wow. Gently does it. Uh, 
Yes, like I said, landing is the tricky bit. Lovely, Grandpa. It's good to get these things out of your system. <sniffs> and now that you've made a big toy plane, there's no need to make another, is there? No, Granny Pig. <sniffs> um, you know what? I fancy a glass of orange juice. Good idea, Grandpa Pig. Is anyone else thirsty? Yes, please. <sniffs> then I'll go to the house and get some juice for all of us. See you later. Peppa, remember to take care of Dolly. I will, Granny. Bye, Granny. Right, now I can show you what I've been working on. This is Mark Three. Wow! Yes, it's bigger and better. It even has a place for a pilot to sit. We can put George in it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. I think that might be a bit dangerous. Aww. Maybe Dolly would like to be the pilot. But Granny said I should look after Dolly. Dolly will be fine. OK. <laughs> Let's see what it can do. The toy aeroplane is doing a loop the loop. Dolly! Oh no, Dolly has fallen out of the plane. No need to panic. Hooray! Let's try something even more exciting. Watch out for the house, Grandpa! Oh, it's fine. The door is open. Now, where is that juice? What was that? Ah, you see, I know what I'm doing. Clever, Grandpa. Now, I just need to land it. Gently does it. Ah, Dolly! Caught you! Hooray! Juice for everyone. Ah, Granny Pig. Perfect timing. What is that? Um, it's a toy aeroplane. A big toy aeroplane. Yes, I can see that. Grandpa did some fancy flying. And Dolly, did you enjoy your playtime with Pepper and George? Grandpa put Dolly in the aeroplane. Yes, yes, we've all had a lovely time. Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> Pepper and George love toy aeroplanes. Everybody loves toy aeroplanes. <laughs> caves. Today, Pepper and her family are visiting the caves. Molly Mole is visiting the caves too. Hello, Molly. The caves sound exciting, don't they? Yes, I'm looking forward to the Ride of Doom. Uh, Ride of Doom? What's that? I don't know, but it sounds good. <laughs> Hello, here is Mr Rabbit. I'm your tour guide. Please put on these safety hard hats. Will the case be dangerous? Not at all. Follow me for a completely safe tour. Good. All that talk of the Ride of Doom had me worried for a moment. I'm your tour guide. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit. Let's go on a wild, mad adventure. Oh, should we put on these safety hats? Why not? <laughs> Does anyone have a problem with going deep underground? Um, I'm not too keen on small dark spaces. Uh, like a cave, you mean? And I'm not so good with heights. I see. Anything else I should know? George and I like exciting places. Brilliant! These caves are ridiculously exciting. Please, follow me. <laughs> These steps take us down into the caves. Ooh, this is fun. Yes, it actually is quite fun. It's good not to know exactly how deep we are. We're a hundred metres down now. Imagine, if you will, the tons and tons of rock just sitting above our heads. Great. <laughs> Welcome to the caves! Ooh! It's so pretty and sparkly! <sighs> Amazing! Look! There's a little boat! All aboard! <laughs> you know what? 
Because this cave is so huge and beautiful, I feel fine about being down here. Now we go through this little tunnel. Ooh. It can get a bit squeezy. Breathe in. <gasps> <gasps> Everyone out of the boat. I can't say I enjoyed that. Don't worry, we won't go through any more tunnels. Good. We just have to cross this chasm. Whoa, that looks like quite a drop. Yes, it's wonderfully deep. I'll show you. See how long it takes this rock to hit the bottom. Wow. So, how do we get across? Did you hear anything about a ride of doom? Molly Mull said the Ride of Doom was the best bit. Uh, what exactly is this Ride of Doom? Nothing to be alarmed by. It's a zip wire ride over this chasm and down to the deepest part of the caves. Oh, goody! <laughs> it's really fun and, of course, completely safe. Wow! <laughs> Uh, I'm not very good with heights. Is there another way to... Uh... See you on the other side! Ah! Wait for me! Ah! Ah! If that isn't the craziest fun in the world, I don't know what is. <laughs> it was brilliant! Did you enjoy it, Daddy? Uh, yes. Here, at the deepest point of the caves, our tour comes to an end. Any questions? Uh, how do we get out? Oh, a good question. We take the lift. Here we are, back on the surface again. <sighs> Daylight. Welcome to the gift shop. Look, there's a picture of us on the Ride of Doom. <laughs> Daddy, you look funny. That will help you remember the Ride of Doom forever. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pepper loves caves. Everyone loves caves. <laughs> George's new clothes. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing in the garden. Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> George, you are all muddy. <laughs> Pepper, George. <laughs> George, my goodness, what a muddy little piggy. <laughs> You'll need a bath. And we'll need to wash your clothes. Oh. <laughs> George is washed in the bath. George's clothes are washed in the washing machine. We must have washed these clothes a thousand times. George's clothes have got holes in them. When you wash clothes a thousand times, they get holes in them. <laughs> I can see your bottom, George. <laughs> Maybe it's time we got George some new clothes. Mummy Pig is taking Pepper and George to the clothes shop. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How can I help you? We need some new clothes for George, please. <laughs> well, you're in luck. This is a clothes shop. <laughs> First, we need to measure you. <laughs> now hold your arms out. George thinks you're going to tickle him. I promise I won't tickle you, George. Very good. What a big, strong boy you are. <laughs> you see, George, Miss Rabbit didn't tickle you, did she? No, but I will. <laughs> George loves being tickled. Right, let's find George some new clothes. How about this? It will keep you very warm. Ooh. If George would kindly go into the changing booth, please. George is wearing a big, thick, woolly jumper. You look cuddly, George. <laughs> Hmm, I don't think white is the best colour for puddle jumping. Hmm, this isn't white. It's every other colour but white. George, you look like a clown. No. George does not want to look like a clown. 
Hmm, too much colour. What about this then? Now you look like a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's still not really George. Hmm, what about this then? Basically, it's what you had before. Oh, yes. <laughs> George, you look like you. What do you think, George? Away! <laughs> George likes his new clothes. <laughs> Daddy, we're home. Oh, so George didn't get any new clothes then. These are his new clothes, Daddy Pig. The same as before, but no holes. <laughs> ho, ho, I see. Can we play in the garden now, Mummy? Yes, let's all play in the garden. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Look, a muddy puddle. Let's jump in it. <laughs> Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, slosh, splish, splash. With a big splash here and a big splash there. Here a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish. <laughs> George, you've got your new clothes all muddy again. Oh. You're one to talk, Pepper. Look at your clothes. <laughs> and you seem to be a little muddy too, Daddy Pig. And you, Mummy Pig. Oh, well, it's only mud. It'll come off in the wash. If we're going to get washed anyway, let's get even more muddy. Yeah! <laughs> Pepper, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig love getting muddy. Everyone loves getting muddy. <laughs> George's woolly hat. Today, George is wearing a new woolly hat. <laughs> Hold on to your hat, George, or it will blow off. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Little ones. Now, children, play nicely. And, George, don't get your new hat muddy. <laughs> <laughs> we promise not to get George's new hat muddy. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. See you later. Bye bye. Come on, Pepper and George. Let's go down to the garden. Yes. yes. <laughs> George, remember what Mummy Pig said about your hat? Yes, yes, Granny Pig, it will be fine. <laughs> Pepper and George have found a large pile of manure. Ooh, what's this, Grandpa? That is manure. Wonderful stuff. I put it on my vegetables to make them grow big and strong. It smells really smelly. <laughs> it's the muckiest, smelliest thing in the garden. Uh, probably best if you two stand back. There. Let's go spread some muck. This is Grandpa Pig's cabbage patch. Hello, cabbages. Would you like some manure? <laughs> it is getting windy. Hold on to your hat, George. Oh, dear. The wind has blown George's hat off. George, catch it! George's hat is caught in a tree. George, you are all muddy. Oh, but your hat is still clean. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I'll get it down for you. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa, I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I can reach it. I see a big piggy who needs a bath. 
<laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Pepper, George, you're both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky. <laughs> I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Be careful, Granny. I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. I've got boots on. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Hush, Grandpa. I have no intention of sinking. I can reach it. Got it. Ah! Oh, dear. Granny Pig is covered in manure. Smelly Granny Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Grandpa Pig, I thought you promised not to let the children get muddy. I think you will find we promised not to let George's hat get muddy. And it's not muddy. It's perfectly clean. <laughs> yes, I can see. The only clean thing around here is George's woolly hat. <laughs> 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 <laughs>